All right, guys, here's the pricing for this week's eight skins. Please let me know what you think down below. Up first, we have the Graffiti Ammo Storage Box. Now, this is a glow-in-the-dark wooden storage box skin. Um, I'm guessing the target audience for this box is those who like Asbos and those who used to fight in Vietnam. That's the general aesthetic I'm getting from this box. Got some nice little wording here, work hard, nice little motivational uh, quotes to see. It, it's a fun little box. Up next, we have the Molten Visage sleeping bag. Now, this is a cool bag. This makes you feel like the Doom Slayer. Um, very cool design, it is not disappointed whatsoever. It is glow in the dark, so it looks especially cool in the, uh, uh, in the nighttime. It's a great sleeping bag. Definitely recommend getting this bag. Now we have the Black Gold Python. Now, we've seen a few Black Gold weapons so far. If you're into collecting guns, these typically don't keep much of their value, but it is a very good looking gun. Um, obviously the decal on the side is very, very nice. It's it's not it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It is a uh, it's a very pretty gun. Up next and we have the Velocity AK. Now, I'm gonna be honest, when I first saw this gun, it does look like the tempered AK was involved in a car accident. Um it looks like it's skidded down the motorway for a good mile, but you know what? It's growing on me. I really like it. It's a very, very cool skin. Uh, not glow in the dark, and I really, really like the, the blue sight you have there when aiming down your scope. And now we have the low poly stone hatchet and pickaxe. I really like these skins. Um, they're not glow in the dark, which is great for stone hatchet and pickaxe. Um, they're just overall a great skin. They're probably my favorite out of this week. Um, definitely give him a Wiljum vibe, so if you watch Wiljum, you can bet he's going to be having these in his next video. Now, last but not least, we have the corrugated steel chest plate and face mask. Um, it does look like the old texture for sheet metal has been used to make these skins. If you're a fan of that, that this is all for you. Um, yeah, nothing too crazy about this, it uh, does what it says on the tin. So to wrap up this week, going to give it a 5 out of 10, nothing too crazy, pretty average skins, a few good ones chucked in there, hope you guys enjoyed, if you have any thoughts, please let me know.